Sports with Riley Robinson. Happy Saturday, everyone. Today is the day for the UIL Girls High School Basketball Regional Finals. Up first was the number seven ranked Pan Panhandle Pantherettes and the number nine Groover Lady Greyhounds. Facing off for the 2A Region 1 Finals, the Lady Greyhounds coming in as the defending state champions. Bernaya Butler with the three ball to finish off the third quarter. Lady Hounds ahead 32 to 25. Going into the fourth, great mall movement here from the Pantherettes. Swinging it all the way to the corner to Avery Cathy. Avery Cathy for the swish. Student section here is in full swing. Leah Sherwood finds Grace Sims in the post and Sims with the kiss off the glass. Butler here cutting through the open lane, gets position, and even with a bloody nose, makes the move for the easy two. Panhandle starting to close the gap here. Sherwood, it is Butler, gets the steal and passes it up court to Sims and ties it up 36 all. Lady Hounds with the rock. Butler tries for the corner three and misses, and it is Allie Sparks with the putback to give Groover back the lead. Panhandle looking for something here. Ball ends up in Sherwood's hands, and she shoots the buzzer three, and it's a no-go. The defending 2A state champs, the Groover Lady Greyhounds, are headed back to the state tournament in San Antonio. Groover head coach Trent Lankford and senior guard Bernaya Butler are both proud of the resilience the team showed on the court. I mean, you know, this region is so tough. There's so many good teams. There's so many good coaches. Um, uh, we're, we're very blessed. Uh, it, it was a, a heck of a game. Um, Coach Schmicker and the uh, uh, Panhandle girls are, are so tough. And I, I knew it would be a four-quarter game and that it was just going to maybe come down to a last possession. Uh, but I'm so proud of my kids. Like, uh, the grittiness that we've showed, uh, this weekend has been just uh, another level. So I'm very, very, very proud of them. Well, throughout the year, Coach Lankford just kept preaching to us, believe, believe, get this team to believe. Um, and the group of seniors we have, um, we're all very close. We've played together forever. Um, we just kept pulling people, let's go, let's go, get on this boat. And um, now we're here. We do believe we got it done. Up next was the 1A regional finals game between the Nazareth Swift Vets and the late and the Claude Lady Mustangs. Layla Godfrey passes it off and cuts through the open lane to get the rock back and get the layup for the Lady Stangs. Presley Willer taking it herself, gets the bucket and the foul. Now next play, Chloe Birkenfield finds Brooklyn Birkenfield, posts it up and Birkenfield dribbles once and goes up for the easy two. Bobby Folkwit takes advantage of the Ets, not stepping to the pass. She gets the steal and two more for Cloud. Falkwet going for the top of the key three here and she misses, but Allison Stone, don't worry, she is there for the putback for the Lady Stings. Folkwit with the rock once more. She drives left, stops in the middle of the lane and makes a beautiful move to the basket right here, position two-step and all. But Nazareth picks up the momentum and gets the regional final win, 26 to 24. Head coach Eric Schilling is proud of the grit his team showed. Uh, yeah, I mean, opening that, uh, that, that team in there showed a, a, I mean, you talk about all the cliches, the toughness, the grit, um, all that, but you, you use all those words, but whenever they do that on that stage in this atmosphere, against a heck of a good team that's hungry that uh you know that's, that's that's three years in a row and that's what I just told them it's hard to beat a, a, a good team three times in a row and that's that's what they did because they're tough